morning, you guys. Okay, so at the end of this video, there's been a lot of you over on my Instagram who have been very concerned and very antsy and you guys want to know what the pregnancy test results were. So I'm going to stick those in at the end of this video um, because we're going to do a project. So today we have like a super busy day. Um, I Okay, let's just update you. Pregnancy test. Also, I was tested for COVID. I had a... <laughs> I don't even know what I'm gonna call this video. You guys are gonna be like, what is going on with her? Um, okay, so um, my period, um, six days late total, or seven days late, almost a week late total. Um, started to get such a bad sore throat this weekend. My like, t I don't have tonsils anymore. I have my tonsils removed, but it almost looked like my tonsil grew back. Grew back. And I had this like, so I had this bulge on my right hand side, like in the back of my throat. I had an e visit with a with a doctor, and even the doctor was like, mm. like she was concerned. She was the best doctor ever. So let me like fill you in as to how I got tested for COVID. So I, oh my gosh, you guys, it's like such a mess. So first they told me that I need to go through the drive through, like the drive through testing site, and that I could get. Um, a strep test and a COVID test done all at the same time because a lot of what I was showing was actually more so like strep. Um, so they had me, they were gonna have me go through the drive through, do both at once. But I had to call the COVID nurse, and if I was unable to do both at once, then I was supposed to let this doctor know and she was gonna help me out. So I told the COVID nurse on the line, I was like, hey, my, like the doctor I saw told me that I should be able to do both these tests at once. And she was like, hang on, hold up, let me call my manager, I'll call you back. She calls me back and she was like, no, that's, we can't do that. Like we just, we don't, and I'm sure it's because it's like sanitized and blocked off, but um, it's connected to the urgent care. So like, we know that I like, the doctor's like, I know they have like the tests on site, but whatever, maybe it's like some kind of something, whatever. Anyway, so, sorry, I'm starting the kids through movie again. Okay, so anyway, so then I was told I'd have to go through the drive-thru and then come back up and then go in um, into the urgent care clinic and um, get my strep test. And I was like, oh, I have my baby with me. Like I really, like I don't want to bring the baby inside to urgent care and expose him and I like don't have to, you know, it's just, ugh. So anyway, and then I was told that I was going to have to, um, like I talked to the next, like the next person. I was like, okay, like just to confirm, then I'll go through the drive through, come back around and then go inside. I was gonna like try and arrange for Mike to be there. And the lady's like, um, I'm pretty sure you have to wait 72 hours before you can come back in and get your strep test. Okay, so now I'm being told something entirely different. And then I got a call from, I messaged the doctor that I talked to because she told me, she's like, if you can't take them both at the same time, message me and let me know and we'll figure something out. So I did. And her nurse messages me back right away and she's like, yeah, I don't know what you're talking about. You can't do both of them at the same time in the drive-thru. And I was like, okay, like I understand that. I understand that now, but the doctor told me that I would be able to. I would be able to do that, and if I wasn't able to do that, to message her. So here I am, like, I'm just messaging you because I was told to, and now I feel like a crazy person. Um, anyway, finally the doctor calls me and she was like, oh, like, I'm so sorry, Morgan. Okay, like, this is what I want you to do. They canceled my drive through appointment entirely. Then it had me come in to the clinic she was at, and she was gonna gown up and she got me tested for both strep and COVID at the same time. It was such an ordeal. That was such a dramatic story for something that really wasn't all that dramatic. It was just kind of funny because they're like, do this, don't do this, do this, don't do this, do this, don't do this. And I was like, I don't know what I'm doing. I just want to get tested. Anyway, that came back negative, so we're good to go. Since I came back negative this morning, um, I just have a couple of videos that I need to wrap up for you guys. Um, I've got like a decorate and clean with me that's going to be going live on Sunday morning. And then I have um, this day in the life, what I wish I want to get up for you guys tomorrow, Friday. I want to get that up for you guys. Um, and I have a really fun video going live. So next week, just so you guys know, I am temporarily switching back to the Tuesday, Thursday schedule um, because 
I have a Tuesday and a Thursday video scheduled. I might even have an additional like day in the life. Actually, I have my Botox video, which I really wanna get up for you guys, so I might toss it up on like Wednesday because Sundays are typically my cleaning videos and then um, like whatever, the rest of the videos are like throughout the week. Anywho, that's what's going on. That is what's happening in my world this week. Lots of craziness. Stay tuned for those videos next week. I gotta get, let's see. Let's just chat and get all the things done. I'm gonna go get my coffee. I brought my coffee. I'm getting back to customers on my phone for Eminem Rustics. Oh, don't do that. Um, I've got a little project I'm gonna have the kids do here this morning. My plan is to be on the road by the latest, like, two o'clock. Let's see if that happens. So, anyway, I also have a what I eat in a day coming live for you guys. Um, oh goodness, I don't even know. I'm trying to get like a good like week's worth of meals in there so you guys have lots of recipes and meal ideas. And then uh, after that I will be able to um, tell you guys, what's it called? Um, and at the end of that video, so the end of next week, I will be recording a weight loss update. Okay. All right, scheduling deliveries and drop-offs. This is like what my day looks like every single day. I go through, I schedule like with my customers for like drop-offs and um, pickups. Oh, don't listen to my mom. <laughs> She's weird. She's okay, let's go upstairs and pack and chat a little bit. So, also, I, <laughs> do you guys like ever get like super frustrated? Okay, my, husband yesterday had to stay home with me uh, because we were isolated because of COVID right because of the COVID test he had to stay home with me that's the rules um so I'm just gonna set you guys here while I, I'm gonna pack a little bit and chat with you guys okay so my husband had to stay home with me yesterday well this was supposed to be our fourth of July vacation and his work the way that it is, like they're in the construction industry, so he doesn't, like they don't get paid holidays, right? I always worked in businesses, I always had paid holidays, always, always. Uh, anyway, so it's just like, it's a new thing for me, like getting used to him, like not having paid holidays. Um, so they're not closed on Friday, right? And they actually have like a lot of work going on on Friday. So, that means for me, because my mom's heading out to the lake, I'm choosing to bring the kids out to the lake as well because like for me to keep them here, like there's just like, there's not as much to like entertain them and I would rather them be like exercising and like being outside and being outdoors, right? Like, and being out in the lake. Um, but that means that I have to set up the camper by myself, which I will record for you guys this time when I go out there. I'm gonna record the setup because it is a Bizzo. Um, I'm, I have to set up the camper by myself and um, then get the kids settled by myself. Like usually my 16-year-old um, sister Lainey is out there, but she's not out there this weekend. She's with friends. So it's literally it's just like me, my mom, and then the kids. <sighs> so I'm stressing out a little bit and I'm a little bit sad. I guess that's what I'm trying to get at. I'm a little bit sad because um, I never get like time with Mike because he's always working like in the shop um, on furniture orders and um, besides that he if, and when he's not in the shop he's working like 13 hour days because he works construction he's like he's a manager he's like a scheduler um, slash manager over at a local construction company um, so he, like he works in the office he like doesn't work in the field he works in the office but um, he has to like schedule all of their jobs and like help bid out some of the jobs and things like that. So he's, um, he's super busy, but anyway, I'm just ranting now, but I am going to get the rest of my stuff in the bag, which by the way, this is the bag I use. Um, whoops. Um, that's the bag. This is the bag I use every single weekend. It's from Duluth Trading Company. I get a lot of questions on this bag. Um, it is bomb. I love 
love love this bag my grandma actually got it for me for christmas one year but it's made with real leather this thing has gone to mexico with me it's gone to florida with me it's gone all over the place i love this thing this is like my go-to this is actually like my carry-on um when i travel because it fits the carry-on but like whatever the measurement specifications but it is like it like there's these straps on the side that like can make it smaller anyways but it's huge you can fit a ton if you want it to so and it's like a canvassy material so anyway okay so that's my favorite bag if you guys are wondering but i usually have to like pack it up every like wednesday thursday i'm like repacking so i honestly i keep like some of oh my gosh kaya you scared me but anyways i keep like a part of my things in that bag um at all times just because like we're at the lake every single weekend and i have to repack constantly so Anywho, if you're wondering how I do it, like how I pack up every single week for the kids, that's how I do it. I like leave half of the, like whatever's clean, I like leave inside of the bags. Um, and then I go from there. Okay, I'm going to get dressed and um, I'm going to record a little bit of a clean with me because I have to do some laundry. And then I'm going to bring the kids outside for a project and then we're going to come inside. I'm going to finish this video. I'm going to edit this video and it's, oh, so many things. Do you want to go to our activity? Where's my oh. I should get your brother in a shirt. I changed my mind and decided we're going to go, go do that activity. I'm actually recording a video on it, but I'll like record behind the scenes for you guys. Um, I'm doing a really fun collaboration next Tuesday and like sharing a bunch of really fun like family activity ideas. Um, and it's like local to my area. So you guys are from the Fargo Moorhead area. Um, you guys will get lots of like really fun ideas. So I'm super excited. Anywho, okay, I'm just gonna put a t-shirt on Riker. I'm feeling like total like redneck mom. Just going to put a t-shirt on Riker and then we're going to go outside with these activities because I don't dare put anything more than a t-shirt on them to do this um, because the water has like food coloring inside of it. So anyway, okay. And then I'm using Riker's little tie-dye shirt because I figured if a little food coloring gets on it, you're not really gonna be able to tell because it's green. Okay. Okay guys, I'm recording like four different videos right now, so I'm literally like, I'm sweating. Um, I just wanted to share with you guys what I'm going to have for lunch. It's gonna be super simple. I did not have any, anything for breakfast besides coffee, which ooh, I just remembered is out on the porch. All right, so with this um, day in the life, I am also doing like a what I eat in a day. I am recording a clean with me. I'm recording a, um, a video for a collaboration downstairs. I like to batch my videos. That I've been doing lately is I've been like batching my videos like before I go to the, go to the lake. Um, I try to like multitask and like some of my videos require more, um, they require more time. So anyways, I, let's see, vitamins to keep the health. Timing my sister and I keep thinking because every time they giggle I always think that um, I think that Riker is waking up so then I freak out and I'm like bah um, again I have a what I eat in a day going up for you guys next week trying to get a lot of recipes in there and like trying to show you guys how many points each meal is just to give you like lots of ideas those are some of my favorite videos to watch like right now while I'm losing weight so all right at the end of this video I'm gonna go ahead I'm going to plug that pregnancy test footage in right here just an absolutely insane week that it has been um so i'm gonna go ahead and insert that footage for you guys here i can't make it up you guys <laughs> i am ridiculous i really needed that coffee too
Oh, man. Anyways, okay, I am the true definition of a hot mess. I am gonna go clean that coffee cup up, make myself some more coffee, leave it there for you guys. I hope you enjoyed this like little chatty vlog. Um, I really just wanted to talk to you guys, get you caught up on some of the behind the scenes stuff. You see like a lot of like my cleaning videos, my day in the life of a mom videos, like, but like it's focused on the kids, right? And like going to the lake and all that stuff. So I just really wanted to just like bring it in. Let's like, let's just talk about like the real nitty gritty stuff behind the scenes, the testing, the being sick, the drama, drama, me breaking coffee cups, all of the things. Okay, I'm gonna peace out guys. I will see you in a couple of days for another really fun video, which is going to be a decorate and clean with me on Sunday morning. Okay, bye guys. Okay. I just kind of dropped a bomb on you guys on my Instagram story. So actually, let me go get my phone. Hold that thought. Okay, so Mike's in the garage um, downstairs and Kai is laying in my bed. Um, okay, so I um, pulled out my period app randomly <laughs> today and I was like, it, it just like I accidentally pulled it up. Actually, I accidentally pulled up my period app and saw this <laughs> and my period is two days late oh crap <laughs> so i'm gonna take a pregnancy test for you guys i don't think it's gonna be positive but being that my period's late i guess i wouldn't be surprised either way um i would be <sighs> i would just laugh i would be very happy i'd be super excited it just isn't the most convenient year for us to get pregnant because um, we have a lot of weddings. My One of my best friends is getting married. My sister is getting married. Um, our, we have another set of best friends getting married. So, yeah, it would not be the most convenient time. But, all right, well, I keep a nice little sash under my sink. All right. Bazinga. I have like a 50 bajillion pack under my sink. P.S. I cannot wait to clean my eyeliner off of my face. My makeup. I need my makeup off my face. Alright. I'm going to pee in a cup. And then we'll go and do the test. I really don't think it's going to be positive. I really don't. But I'm recording it because I promised you guys I would. Okay guys, I zoomed in so that you wouldn't have to see my gross pee. We're gonna open it. Okay, so I just got like these cheap ones from Amazon. So in order for these to show up positive, you gotta be like pretty late. Um, but we'll see. I barely peed enough to even get this to register. So this will be interesting. And I'm gonna place the thing over it. Okay, I'm gonna move my pee and then I am going to... So gross. Alright, I'm gonna empty out this little pee cup and wash it and then we'll come back and see the results. Again, I really don't think it's gonna be positive, but just in case. Okay. Pregnancy test. My phone. Okay. Alright, pregnancy test. Me. Pregnancy test, me. All right. It's negative. It is as negative as can be. I, th I think. Oh, I'm getting line eye. Hmm, I only let it sit for a minute. Do I need to let it sit longer? Oh, I've totally got line eye. I think it's negative. I'm pretty sure it's negative. Whew, okay, now I'm freaking out a little bit. No, it's for sure Z is negative. No, there's nothing there. All right, well, two days late, I feel like it would show up, right? All right, I'm gonna show you guys up close. Okay, can you guys see? 
Negativo. Please don't mind my really gross calluses. My hands from shoveling. But that is about as negative as it gets, I think, guys. Say, though, that I'm totally having line eye. Like... No, if I was two days late, I would for sure Z's be more positive. It wouldn't be sure Z's negative. Whew. All right. Well, any other time, I would be super excited, but not not until November. It can't happen until after November. Whew. Okay. Not pregnant. Sorry, guys. I don't mean to disappoint you, but... I'll take another test in the morning because my period is late and first morning urine is more accurate. So I will take one more test in the morning just to show you guys for sure Okay, I'm recording this on my iPhone because I forgot my camera downstairs. I'm taking it. It is Sunday. So it's been a couple days since I last um, touched base with you guys. But I'm taking another test right now. I'm dipping it in the urine. Um, okay, because, all right, we're going to cover that. All right, so I am, um, let's see, according to my period tracker, six days late. Um, I don't know if I mentioned this in my last video, but I really don't know, like, how accurate that is, like, and how good it's been tracking. Um, anyway, so, side note, I've had, like, some really weird dreams lately, and I have a sore throat, I have a headache, just like random things that like they tend to happen to me when I am pregnant. But um, I had a really weird dream that I was pregnant with triplets the other night. And then literally the next, the next night, like the next, so like the night after, my t sister texted me um, the morning after that next night and said, oh my gosh, I just had a dream that you were pregnant with twins. And I was like, okay, like this is getting like freaky. And <laughs> I know it's like very like premonitious of me, um, but anyway, it just like is really weirding me out. My period with like my period being late and the weird dreams and like I don't know. So anyway, I have my test. It is um, processing right now. I'm going to peek at it. Hmm. It still seems pretty negative to me. Pretty darn negative. I know that it's not like been a full two minutes. Sorry, my nails are absolutely atrocious, but that looks pretty negative to me. I'm going to let this sit for another minute just because I can see like there's still some dye in there. I'm totally seeing line eye. I have a line eye and I feel like I'm seeing the indentation again. Like if I was six, if I was truly six days late, I feel like it would be like super, like obviously pregnant. <sighs> and now this has me like questioning. This happens to me every time I'm like, okay. I'm always like, pew, but then I'm like, hmm. And I get kind of sad.